if you speak from your heart, that's all that matters. Nothing else does. Hey everybody, this is Smith. And today I want to do a video about something that happened to me. This morning I woke up. I was asked to look at somebody's D2 videos and see if I could help them. I was not awake when I read the DM and I said I would look at it later when I was awake, which of course was at night. So as you can see behind me, my backdrop is very different. I had to move my desk around just so we could get the air conditioner in the window because it's ridiculously hot in here and I needed air. Back to the subject at hand. I'll be honest, I didn't watch her videos. I just looked and saw that she was getting very minimal payouts for her posts and she makes videos every day. So I asked a couple of people if they could help me out and look at the videos and, um, and see what they could do. So one person in particular then got back to me a couple minutes later and said, have you watched this video? <laughs> I said, well, I'm going to be honest. No, I have not. Been a little busy. And she <laughs> then informed me that the woman who, I did eventually go back and watch it, is a very good motivational speaker. Unfortunately, what I didn't agree with in the video was her saying that people that put makeup on or dress up in order to do a video or a vlog were not being real. And that bothered me. It bothered me a lot and it bothered the other person a lot. And she has gone on to make a video, which I think covers everything. It's a very good video and I will link it in my post. I know for me, when I started making videos, I wasn't comfortable doing a video with no makeup. Now, I'm comfortable going to a store with no makeup. I'm comfortable, quite honestly, the only time I really put makeup on is when I know there's going to be pictures taken of me. And when um, I'm doing videos. Now, the week in, weekend or whatever you want to call it in Colorado, I wore makeup the first day there. And I think I wore, I just didn't take it off. So I had some makeup on the next day. And other than that, I, I didn't have any makeup on because I was just wanting to enjoy what I could and putting makeup on was energy that I didn't have. There's a ton of pictures on Steam with me showing my arms because I always wear short sleeve shirts in real life. And I don't like the way my arms look, but if you really want to see them, go look at the pictures, they're there. And I'm not embarrassed of those pictures. I did not ask people not to post them or only post really pictures like from the first day where I had makeup on <laughs> because it's not me. Me is however I feel at the time. And a lot of that is based off of how much energy I have and everything else. Now I have made videos without makeup. I've made videos putting makeup on to show the difference of how I look with makeup and without and to prove points about how I feel about it. But to say that somebody isn't being real in what they're saying in a video when they're giving information to me is just so wrong because if you're comfortable 
in front of a camera. And however you have to be that way then what you're saying and what means a lot to you is easier to be said because you're not being distracted by how you look. You are just focusing on what the words are. Now, another thing that she had mentioned was the fact that some people use scripts. And I think that too depends on the instant of what you are talking about. What I'm wearing and the way I look is my comfort level so that I can get out what is important to me and what I want to share. Now, if somebody is more comfortable having bullet points or a script next to them that they can glance at to make sure that they're staying on point so that all that they want to inform somebody of that they're passionate about is covered, there's nothing wrong with that either. It just depends on what you feel comfortable with. Her main message is really good and she talks really well and her main message is be yourself. But Yet, on the other hand, she turned it around to say that if you didn't look a certain way, in her eyes, you were fake. Mm. I wasn't going to say anything, because to me, pretty nice video covered all the points, and more. Then she said, but you do videos without makeup, and you do them with makeup, which is true. So. Even from a perspective of somebody that does it with makeup or without, that never uses a script, because <laughs> I would just get distracted by the script. <laughs> and I'd be like, so did I miss it? And I'd spend five minutes looking at the script. Once I start talking, then it flows freely from inside me. What's important? and what is the most meaningful thing. And I'm getting a little irritated because I'll maybe leave it in, maybe not, but my video is still flickering and I don't know why. And it's never done that before until I moved my desk around. So I'm getting a little distracted by the flickering <laughs> and a little PO'd because I have tried like five different ways of fixing it and it's not working. <laughs> so, like, to the point, I think, and I have said many a time, that whether you're writing, whether you're just making a ulog, whether you're making a vlog, and you're just talking about things that are important to you, that you need to really care about what you're talking about. And that comes through over a video because they see it in your eyes. They see it in your manners, how you move your hands. I happen to talk with my hands a lot. They see it in how you're sitting, your stance, everything. You can't hide how passionate you are about something. I don't think that that has anything to do with how you're dressed. I don't think that passion has anything to do with how you look. I think it comes across no matter if you look goth, if you look like me, if your the pin curls get your hair done once a week, white-haired lady, as long as you're yourself, it doesn't matter. Because if you're comfortable with how you look, whether it's pajamas, if you want to get on video and you want to be in your pajamas, go for it. You don't know that I don't have my pajama bottoms on and I'm really comfortable from here down. Putting a sweater on 
over my arms while I'm doing a video makes me more comfortable. And having a little bit of makeup on makes me even that much more comfortable. Be yourself. And don't judge other people. And know that no matter how you look, you too can make videos. It's not what you look like. It's what you say and how passionate about it you are. And I honestly think that that was her real message. But it just didn't come across that way by throwing in that she doesn't find herself attractive and she likes not wearing makeup and she likes not doing her hair. Well, first of all, she is very attractive. And all the more power to you that you don't like wearing makeup. I don't either, most of the time. But I am more comfortable wearing it on video and there's nothing wrong with that. I try not to judge people, no matter who they are. And if I don't like what somebody is saying, I move on. But it bothers me, and the reason I am saying something, is because we're all different. We all have different comfort levels, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I agree with her about how a person in a video comes across better, you get to know them better, you get to see more of who they are, and I like that about making videos. I like that people can see my facial expressions, because when I talk, a lot of it is in my hand gestures that you can't see when I'm writing, and it's in my facial expressions. Let them be themselves, and they'll find out what works for them and what they're comfortable with, and there's nothing wrong with that other than this screen flickering every time I say something that I think is important, <laughs> which then just drives me a little bit. So I'm going to stop this. I don't know how long it is. But, please, if you want to do videos, do them. You want to do them in your jammies right when you wake out of bed, do them. You want to wear a ball gown, do it. There's nothing wrong with any of it, as long as when you're doing it, and when you're speaking, you're speaking from your heart about something that is important to you, in something that you really believe in. And that shows. No matter what you're wearing, no matter who you are, no matter anything. If you speak from your heart, that's all that matters. Nothing else does. Thanks. Have a wonderful day morning, afternoon, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!